legends going on here with such names like Bret Hart, uh, Roddy Roddy Piper, uh, Al Snow, Mick Foley, Jim Cornette. Uh, Demolition has been part of this. One Man Gang, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Kamala a couple of times, uh, Shane Douglas, Raven, Bruce Beefcake. So many. Uh, uh, the genius Lanny Poffo, of course, the brother of, of new inductee, uh, the Macho Man Randy Savage this year. Uh, Corey Graves, who's the NXT announcer, and he's actually popped up, teamed up with Otunga and Scott Stanford on the Raw pre-show, uh, I noticed this week. Um, formerly Sterling James Keenan, formerly a, a friend on this show, of course. Um, and we have tons of shows uh, with him taking on some of the greats. Um, Christian uh, against AJ Styles. Matt Hardy has a bunch of shows, two of them within the past year, uh, in 2014 with uh, RWA and IWC, respectively. Tito Santana at a college fight fest. Uh, Superfly Jimmy Snook at three shows. A lot of stuff going on there. So go to circuitronmedia.com, go to pittsburghwrestling.com, use that code MANIA for 25% off your purchases. And so many, and a lot of really cool titles coming out very soon in conjunction with uh, Outsource announcing, including Gregory Irons. Uh, best of um, a great, great uh, four-hour piece that we we put together with his prime wrestling uh, endeavor, including him both teaming with and feuding with Zach Gowan. You ever think you see Zach Gowan as a bad guy? It was actually pretty good. So go check that out. So let's get into uh, story number two, topic number two of the night, which is really quite simple. WrestleMania. Let's pick them. Let's go down the card. I uh, Real quick, we talked about the ins and outs. I don't want scenarios. I don't want you to think Rollins is coming. I just want to know, who do you think is going to win? Brock. Uh, yeah, Brock. I almost said Brock Rollins. Brock and Reigns. Uh, so let's, let's just go down. This one's just real quick answers, please, guys. Mad Mike? Yeah, big board. Uh, Reigns. Reigns. Okay. Uh, what about you, Riz? Brock. Brock, what about you, Eamon? Reigns. Reigns. Uh, let's go over to Bobby. Brock Lesnar. <laughs> and finally, I think uh, oh, Matt Carlin. Matt, Matt, Carlin Matt Carlin's is pointed up on the board. He's getting them together, so we have them. And are we going to reference this uh, Sunday night at the uh, at the Mania party? Yeah, we're gonna. Have, I'm gonna have a red pen for Sunday night and be like, wrong, oh. wrong. Oh, you know pen. what? We should put the stream on Meerkat of you of, of the board. <laughs> as oh, we go, good, yeah. as we go. About meerkats, Why would so you do that to a defenseless animal? Man, no, Bobby, who <laughs> picked who? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah I, I, I made up initials for each of you. Okay. And I'm sorry, so, guys. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys, but I gotta go with. I gotta uh, go with the man. Uh, I gotta go with the <laughs> Samoan. This guy right here. You want? Yeah. You want a piece sword, of? You want a piece of pizza? Ro- want- is to Roman Reigns as I was to Great Khali. Roman Reigns is good. I believe that. I believe it. I, I think I think we should make Sword do a bet at some point during one of the pay-per-views where if Roman Reigns loses, someone has to like treat that Roman Reigns sandy like a pinata. Oh, oh I lot of hate. Everybody say, gets a Matt turn Carlin. at five in Roman Reigns if. Uh, <laughs> if uh, Matt, I, am I allowed to bring him back to the party? <laughs> yeah. I'm but you have to take him back with you. He's not staying okay. here. He's coming back with me, and he's gonna he's gonna eat hummus with me. Oh man! I figured you could put him in your front seats. So you can drive the HOV lanes. Sorry, sorry. Please, please post an Instagram photo. You just shoveling hummus into Roman Reigns' mouth. We talked about hummus last <laughs> night. I got a, I got an Instagram idea for Roman actually that I'm hoping to put up tonight after the show. So stay tuned wow. for that. Um, uh, no, yeah, put we'll me down for Roman. Let's go. Let's go down. Uh, of course, the other big one: Undertaker, Bray Wyatt. I'm saying oh. Taker. Taker? I, I mean, I, it has to be, right? Does it? Does it? Eamon? I don't, I don't know. Bray Wyatt, why not? Bray Wyatt, okay. Bray Wyatt, uh, Riz? I... See, it's not as clear-cut as you think. No? No. Uh, but I... I, I want to say my heart says one way, my my brain says the other. Uh, I'm going to say Taker. Oh, okay. Like it, it's it's closer than you think, sort. Okay. What about you, Mike? Head says Taker. Gut says why. I'm going with my head. It's Taker. Why it needs to win more, but Taker has to come back strong. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What about uh? 
What about you, uh, uh, Bobby? White has to win. I'm going with White. Because th that's the thing is that Taker's <clears throat> lost already in Mania, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's not like a a as a clear cut like this can only happen to a certain guy situation. Now he can yeah. lose to anyone. Oh, we right. we're tied. I, I picked Wyatt too. Yeah, why? Why you pick Wyatt? I I, I want to point <laughs> out. I want Wyatt to win. Yeah, I just I, don't think me too. Win. But I think you it's going. That, I still think it's going to be. I was at yeah. too. I'm like, Wyatt. I want Wyatt to win, but my brain is telling me to pick Undertaker. It'll be it'll be just as shocking if Undertaker loses again, and this time it'll actually help Bray Wyatt. It'd be Nothing really great if Brock Lesnar just came out just to cost Taker another win. And <laughs> That would be amazing. <laughs> While I'm here. Um, or Bray Wyatt came out wearing Brock Lesnar gear just to oh. psych him out. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> Terrible image. All right, let's go down the line again. Uh, uh, Sting and Triple H. Sting? Sting. 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 <laughs> Sting. Sting. You get those first match back, you can't lose. Is that unanimous? Did everybody say Sting? I think it's all Sting. Sting. Yeah. I think Everybody's it's all Sting. Sting. If Triple H wins, this will be the worst Triple H win since he destroyed Booker T. That is true. Yes. <laughs> there's there's anybody, no there's there's anybody, literally, I love Triple H, but there's no reason he needs to win. Right. Did anybody pick uh, the police thing? Roxanne! <laughs> the Roxanne's in the Divas match. The police are going to play him to the ring. Uh, what oh, we got no. next? Uh, <laughs> AJ, Tantric sex roll. <laughs> AJ and Paige against the Bellas. I think it's going to be the Bellas. Oh. Does it matter? <laughs> yeah, it matters. <laughs> I mean, that should be for the title, though. Yeah. I can, I can the title is, match. It's for I the fans. This is the most well-built match on the main. Yeah, right, right, right. Right. it's good. Mm -hmm. What about it you, Eamon? For the title, it. Eamon? Uh, I, I agree. I go with the Bellas. I think the Bellas need it more. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike, PJ, PJ. I like that. PJ, Riz, the Bellas. Okay, oh, Bob. Uh, friend of me. That can be both teams. <laughs> kind of. What do you got? Also, I do, also also I really don't see them giving AJ a big win at Mania. Mm. Or even. Uh, and thank you. I think it was Riz that posted uh, AJ Lee unfollows nope. CM Punk from Twitter. Uh, that that <laughs> was that, that story is uh, updated, which reads that she has now refollowed him on Twitter. <laughs> Yay. And the strange, strange creatures. And they they wrestling news wrong great. on the report. So Our long national nightmare is over. That's good. That's <laughs> good. going to be the first one listed when when he looks at the names. Randy or Orton. Randy Orton against uh, Seth Rollins. Um, um, I don't know. I think Rollins gets this one. Yeah, I agree. I'm going with Rollins. I'm going go with Orton. Orton. But Rollins beats him. Rollins beats him on his own. I, I, I say it the other way around. Orton needs his revenge, and he's going to beat Rollins when he's on his own. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they're really playing up that Rollins can't do anything on his own. That's true. That's true. Uh, <clears throat> Still working on it, man, Mike? I'm taking Rollins. I think I got to go Orton. Orton. Orton beats Rollins, and then Rollins comes back in the end to cash in. It's standard well, Money in the happens. Bank style. Yeah, that's what happens in every Money in the Bank thing. If this is, you lose, it'll probably be the beginning of the mat, the beginning of the show. I could also see time. Orton winning by DQ. I yeah, could absolutely see that. That's and then Orton too. beats the crap out of him afterwards. There's always winners, that would be terrible. There's always one yep. or two weird, weird finishes at WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. Weird open-ended ones. I just realized I haven't picked a single heel yet, unless you count Reigns. <laughs> Well, it goes with our discussion on Raw Wrap Up, actually. Yeah. Um, and the next one, uh, Rusev Cena. I'm going USA. Cena all the way. Rocky uh, Four. Heyman. Bum, ba, na, na. <laughs> wow. Ba, ba, na, na. See my uh, sword. Pull up the picture from the uh, Max Landis uh, video of the Cena girl doing the double fingers. <laughs> I need to find that. <laughs> That's my thoughts on that match. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so, so you're going with Cena, is that what I'm saying? I, I, I say the match ends when Cena takes off his cap and hits Rusev in the head like he did the Triple H in that video. <laughs> by the way, oh, by the way we're, we're getting picks from the chat room as well. Uh, Gar uh, if you yeah, want to write I these down. Garza, yeah, Garza has Reigns, Taker, Sting, 
Sting. Sting. AJ and Paige. Sting. AJ and Paige. AJ. 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 And Paige. AJ. AJ. Uh, AJ. Orton and Cena. What are you seeing in this chat? So. <laughs> I don't know. It's the one that's... Check, check the other chat room. Up. Check the other there chat room. Is, I'm working on it. I'm sorry. Chat room. It's a work in progress. We have a chat room ben. problem. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. And Mike, pick a country. Oh, uh, USA all the way. This is going to be the end of Mighty Ducks 2. Riz? Oh, Rocky all the way. And then he does the Rocky promo and turns Rusev face. A compromises Bobby? Rusev to a permanent end. Over. I'm going. I'm going. I Rusev has to win this match. I don't think he's going to, but I'm going with Rusev. Oh, well, he has to. Okay, oh, Bobby. Nice, cool. Bobby. I'm going out on him. All right, enjoy your live. I will pick, also you're picking you. Robert I'm Morris going. over Duke. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, this time, Robert Morris is going to win. Intercontinental ladder match. Yeah, we got to go through this and uh, figure and out. And Cena who. will be the crying flute player. <laughs> <laughs> wow uh i see title matched um you know i'm going with barrett keeps it we had discussion last night i want to stick with, i'm going with, i'm with you uh matt carlins on yeah. the uh, barrett bandwagon i think we'll just get a really cool feud out of uh dolphin brian afterwards the bad news bandwagon the bad news bandwagon <laughs> brian garza says brian too I also so go with Brian. The Rusev match. I also go with Brian. <laughs> um, <laughs> Is that Brian for Eamon? All right. Yep. You know what? Wow. I'll go. I'll go the wild card. Our truth. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'll go with truth. The best thing is, truth's wow. really not. Out of the seven people, truth's not like the most wild card. Like, I, I feel like the wild, like, if you went, like, with, like, Stardust. Like, the jaw-dropping is. ending is, yeah. Let's get, uh, yeah, let's give uh, our truth his WrestleMania moment. He's okay. afraid of the heights. Somebody's thinking like that. All right, um, which, which one I mean, do you want? You we we could have a tag team match here for the, uh, we are we going to do the pre-show match? Who wants That's to pick the pre-show match? Pre-show match, which is a shame it's a pre-show match, but I think they retain. Yeah. Retain. Uh, New Day. Retain. Oh, wow. Yeah, as much as I love Kid and Cesaro, and as much as I fucking love chicken fries, I think it's New Day. <laughs> chicken fries for the win. You know what? Chicken fries are abomination. You know, you know what I was... I hate to say this. You're gonna say this. You stole mine, because I was going to go with New Day. Oh, and nice, Riz! I kind of want I kind of want to see if they do that uh, Freebird style. That, that limb just got a little bit bigger than I crawled out on. Wait, so Riz, you're picking the New Day, too? I'm picking New Day. And uh, Garza's picking the Usos. It's a Samoans win night. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think they change hands on a pre-show match. Samoans win. Oh, Samoans <laughs> win. <laughs> I just saw a t-shirt for Kid and Cesaro on WWE Shop. So yeah, that's so did I. It's awesome. Yeah, it's good. Oh, sure. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. Really? You want to change your pick? Uh, no, I'm adding something to my birthday list. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've seen it too. I've seen it too. It's basically their names with the Swiss flag and the Canadian flag next to them. Oh, oh good. that's that's kind of. Yeah, out of the back yeah. it says like established, like the date, the first yeah. date they tagged. It's actually kind of cool. I'm okay with that. All right, I need to find out who's in this battle royal. Nobody battle knows. Royal. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be Seamus. Oh, I see that. I like that. That's cute. It's gonna be Seamus. Let's be honest. Mm, my wild, yep. my wild card pick would be Mizdow. To be honest, um, but, but I don't think they'll do that. I'm, I'm going officially, Seamus. Oh, is there a list of everybody in this? No, no because Seamus no. is on that list. Uh, um, every one of the ten man. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going super wild card. Axelmania. Wow. Ooh. Please. I'm Actually, going super wild card. Could I amend my my pick for the uh, Intercontinental Ladder match? <laughs> Why? You go with Stardust. Because I, I want, I, I think Sheamus is going to join that match and win. Okay. But, uh, not crazy. It's not crazy. That's though. that's my pick. That's, that's right. There, that's a good one from Garza Usos. It's Samoans win night. Yeah. <laughs> um, for my for the battle royal, I'm going to go with Mark Henry. <laughs> it's, like, Mark Henry it's, like their, it's like they're present to him. Yeah, Mark Henry is in. Um, I have a. Uh, a list if you guys want it so far. 
It's updated from March 23rd. Mm-hmm. It's not up to date. Curtis Axel, Ryback, Fandango, Adam Rose, Zack Ryder, Jack Swagger, Titus O'Neil, Darren Young, Big Show, Kane, Eric Rowan, Damian Mizdow, Sin Cara, Gold Dust, Heath Slater, Mark Henry, Connor, and Victor. Oh, and an NXT superstar. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, shit. I forgot about that. You can't just pick NXT superstar. <laughs> no, 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 Damn no, 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 no. It covers everybody. It's a blanket no, statement. No, actually, um, you know what? I'm going to change from Axel Mania. I'm going to say Tyler Breeze. But he, it's kind of a no, wild card. That's I okay. Forgot, I forgot about the NXT superstar that's going in. I, I, think, I, I think it's acceptable. He's going to pull a sneaky win, I think, and eliminate Sheamus. <laughs> I love it. Wheel just pops up and says, I'm going with all of Garza's picks. <laughs> that makes it easier for me to keep track. Uh, I don't know who I'm gonna pick. Now I'm thinking about one. Now that I'm thinking about Ryback, could be a good breaking guess. everybody. Yeah, I, I'm gonna pick Ryback. Ryback or the Ryback? But well, it's the most enthralling uh, <laughs> segment Ryback. of podcasting I think we've ever done. Um, but uh, we should make bets. Some fun thoughts. Some fun thoughts. You're betting your pride. What else do you need? A lot of us are picking <laughs> shock. Yeah, since I've been, I was gonna say since I've already picked shock Gosh. value, I might as well just go go for this. I'm gonna pick Adam Rose. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. I don't care. Bobby does. Uh, Bobby Bobby Adam Rose. You know what? I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna pick somebody. I'm not gonna steal this pick from somebody else. No, I shouldn't do it. Okay, do I'm it. gonna do it. I'll pick do it. Bo Dallas. A returning Bo oh, Dallas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like it. Nice. I'd like to change my pick to Victor of the Ascension. <laughs> not, not even the good, uh, not even the entertaining one. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. the guy who says yeah all the time. I am yeah. shocked. I'm shocked they're not in that tag match. I'm not. They've lost eleven matches in a row. That's true too. They kind of faded away. Well, I mean, uh, you see, because I mean, there's always like people fade away going into WrestleMania, but afterwards they'll pick up somebody like that, right? That that reset button that happens the day after WrestleMania on that RAW, and you get to I see like, where I like they're going to go. Every time we use the uh, big board, Matt Carlin ter- slowly turns to the big board in astonishment, tying <laughs> 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 it up like, "What oh, the hell did I just do? <laughs> what, are we done? <laughs> what is this creation before me?" <laughs> he's like, he's like Goodwill. He's, he's like Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> And then I look at my hands. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, let us know. Right, hold, hold, hold on. Bonus prediction for everyone. Do you guys think Money in the Bank is cash day at Mania? Maybe. Why yes. Not? Yes. yes. I, I have it. room on the big board. <laughs> <laughs> I say he's going to try and we'll fake a pull. Yes, and he loses. I'm not saying whether he wins or loses. I'm just saying is it cash day. Oh, anyway. Bobby, that's a good idea, actually. I think he's going to check it out. That, that's the that, – have Roman win the belt. Rollins comes in. The crowd is going to pop. They will pop for that. And then him just being like, nope, and telling them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you can't Roman. That would be the oh, – that would be more heelish than anything Rollins has ever been. Actually, that, that, would get the heat, that would get the heat back on Rollins and not on Reigns. That's true. That's true too. That's true too. So how dare you not – Save us <laughs> from WrestleMania. It's the thing that we hated. Yeah, yeah. I mean, or the well, I mean, Rollins or, thing would be to come out every night on Raw and fake like he's gonna cash in. <laughs> well, here's the other thing like too. It, walk away. I've always, I've always wanted like a Money in the Bank guy. Like every time the champion is out, he literally just walks down and sits at ringside. What if like, like sits at ringside with the briefcase, staring at him? What if? Yeah. What if? We do a double turn at or after WrestleMania with Rollins and Reigns. You could do it. It's hard because the, the Money in the Bank is such a heelish device. It's it's tough to unless he straight up challenges them, but that wouldn't. I'm thinking oh, no. maybe I'm thinking maybe uh, Reigns wins the title. Rollins comes in to to cash in. Mm-hmm. Ambrose stops him because remember Ram- Ambrose said. He's going to stop him at every chance he gets to stop him. Right. Remember, right. he said that. So, I, but I would love to I, see. I love that. I love that we still think Ambrose is going to be involved in this. 
Uh, he's, get, he's, gets his show he's, back in, you know. He slips so far down in there. Yeah, that's true. true. That's true. He's but but, the, 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 oh, but the, it's, he, it's, he's the one that he, he's he started this intercontinental title feud, and now he's like the fifth most important person in it. Mm-hmm. Called Daniel Bryan. I mean, Our truth is better suitable for that title now, for some unknown reason. And, and, I, I mean, if I were in that intercontinental title Bryan match. House. If I were someone in that Intercontinental title match, I would be saying, no, I don't need to win the belt. Because, like, no, you're not going to get pinned. Someone's going to climb the ladder. If you can get out of there without that IC title on you, that's a win. And if you can fall off a few high places and make people remember you, then that's a win, too. So Dean can still come out of that match looking good. Like Shaw and Benjamin, right? Yeah, Um, exactly. I think, so, they should institute, yeah, I think they should institute a 24-7 rule on the Intercontinental cha- Championship, though. <laughs> uh, you guys, Why not? in the chat room, Garza is calling for Heyman to side with Rollins yeah. uh, the next night on Raw. That would be good. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't see that happen Because the authority would have to turn on Seth first. I think that's, I think that's what was happening if Brock didn't re-sign. Now it's kind of an open book. You got to do something with mm-hmm. them. Uh, and where do you go from here? So it's not like Brock is going to be suddenly working every week. The problem with Brock me is still going to disappear after the problem, WrestleMania. The problem with me for this is, and and, and 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 just real quick, let me know if you guys agree with this. I don't see Rollins as a believable badass contender. Not yet. I completely disagree. Not oh, oh wait, 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 uh, Eamon, uh, uh, I'm curious. Wh- why do you disagree to that? I think that Royal Rumble match really proved that he is a contender. Okay. Yeah. But does he seem, my problem is, like, okay, taking him against Triple H seems like he could be uh, pretty much a legitimate badass. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Cena, uh, for all you, I, I can take John Cena being a, being a hard ass, right? Um, who else is Brock taking on? Uh, you know, t- Taker, another one. I mean, a guy that does MMA moves, he seems like a serious badass. Even uh-huh. though he's a so little what about older. Daniel Bryan? Did we have Brock and Daniel Bryan? No, no, what I'm, but what I'm saying, no, we haven't. But if you're going to, you're saying convincing him that he could be like a tough, like badass guy. True. Bryan's proven that. Okay. I don't okay. think I I think you know Rollins is the same size. He's a different style of wrestler, but that doesn't make it any bit different. Right. They they just portrayed him for the past what like nine months that he's a coward. Yeah, yeah. But that's the issue. But he's proven in those in that Royal Rumble match how fucking badass he can be and okay. how he can hold his own with the top guys. Okay. And and I'd argue we don't need someone who's necessarily portrayed as a badass. Edge, no. was never, Edge was never portrayed as a badass. He was portrayed okay. as a smart competitor. That's true, too. Yeah, I still say, I, I, to me, like, Seth has gotten that curb stomp to the point where I would believe if he hit the curb stomp on Brock Lesnar, I would believe that that's it, that it's over. Yeah. It makes John Seth Cena defy really gravity. That's true, too. Yeah. That's true, too. Uh, this is a good point. Wheels. Or... <laughs> the shield secretly plan this and rejoin each other. No, that one day, never happen. One day, I, I think I wheels. Is just trying to one day, it'll happen. I, I think wheels is just trying to appeal to Jen Carl. I can't wait to well, the no, shield. I feel, like, I feel like if they did that, that would be WWE basically telling everybody, "It's like, hey guys, I know we fucked up. I know we shouldn't have split them up. <laughs> We're sorry." There you go. No, no, no. They'll, they'll they'll rejoin the shield when it's later on down the wheel the, down the way, and they're the kid friendly version, and they have something neon that they can sell, right? Mm-hmm. So and they'll all three of them beat up each. And Dean Ambrose found God somewhere along the way too, and it gets kind of <laughs> awkward. And on that point, there, please. Speaking of finding really cool things, slice on Broadway. Look, I found a slice of pizza. Behind.